Hello, and welcome to the Absolute Noob's Guide to Rust. We're going over the most basic of the basics to try and turn you cavemen into fully self-sufficient members of society. A day will eventually come when you must venture forth from your parents' basement and face the harsh reality of life outside of the cave. So, you're gonna want to be prepared when you do. Before you go outside, it's for the best to take stock of your inventory and make sure you aren't carrying anything you're gonna miss if you get dropped the moment you open the door. The general rule of thumb for roaming is to not have anything more on your body than what you are willing to lose. Clothing is important as it adds protection and can save you from any freshly spawned nudists. But if your nightmares come true and you show up to class naked, it's good motivation to hunt down some hemp and sew up a fresh batch. After a few trips of leaving naked and coming back clothed, you will have a healthy stockpile for when you actually do need them. There are three things that you must bring with you on every hunt, and if you don't have them, you should hurry up and craft them as quickly as possible. You're going to need a hard tool to harvest things, both organic and inanimate, a ranged weapon to ward off beasts and players, and of course, medical supplies. A stack of bandages should do the trick early on, but if you are a high enough level, medical syringes are a necessity. It's a good practice to carry a couple dozen metal fragments as after only a few animal kills, you can craft enough syringes to hopefully keep you alive should you run in any trouble. When choosing a ranged weapon, I find it is best early on to simply bring a bow or crossbow, as they are easily replaced and with only a little bit of practice, effective killing weapons. The hatchet is the tool of choice for wandering, as you can use it to harvest animals, cut trees, smash barrels, and complete your revolutionary war Mel Gibson cosplay! Where the hell are the muskets, Gary? Why can't we have fun guns? What even is this shit, Call of Duty? Anyway. Sleeping bags are helpful to bring along and throw down when in trouble, but with the new spawn timer on them, they are slightly less likely to save your ass in case of emergency. Alright, now you got all your important stuff put away, it's time to actually go play outside with the other kids. Situational awareness is key to not getting mugged. You can use the head swivel, which by default is bound to alt, to keep track of your surroundings. While gathering resources, it is super important to always keep your head on a swivel and to move your body so that any would-be assailants will have a more difficult time when they try to jump you. Yeah, you know, remember when you were a kid and your parents told you to look both ways when crossing the road? Well, in Rust, you're pretty much in a perpetual state of crossing the road. When you finally do get attacked, if you can't hold your ground and have to run, don't run in straight lines. Running straight, while it may get you to where you're going faster, your parents are less likely to disown you. Also makes you much easier to shoot. Employ a classic serpentine maneuver, but try not to be too predictable. If your serpentine is too smooth, the shooter can easily compensate for your movement and use it against you. The more erratic your timing, the better. If you encounter a very dense rock formation or a forest full of bushes, you can use them to hide in a pinch but any experienced player will remember to watch for footprints. While out roaming, you are likely to run into some of the more hostile wildlife, as they can often be found hiding inside of rocks or running on circles on top of them. Wolves are dangerous, but if you have a decent weapon, are easily dispatched. Bears, on the other hand, there are no weapons other than the mid to high tier guns that can save you from taking massive damage and likely being ragged out like Leo. If you don't want to spend a few weeks crawling through rivers and shit just to have your body despawn before you get back to it, carry a building plan on you at all times, as they have trouble reaching you on foundations. Using this simple trick, you can kill bears early on with bows and spears, but standing on a raised foundation makes you more of a target for any wandering tribals. Speaking of you, peers, you're going to run into a lot of them, and the vast majority are going to try to kill you. Next episode, we will discuss the types of natives you'll meet and how those interactions are likely to end. Thanks for watching and stick around for more content. 
You wouldn't trust a condom with a hole in it. So don't trust a base with a hole in it. It's a general rule of thumb that you shouldn't leave anything twig.